A 50-year-old Mahubba Abdullah is working on a traditional decorative saddle that can be placed on camel's back for nomads who move from place to place. This handmade decoration is also used to decorate houses in most Somali households. It's used to decorate houses back in the days. It's also called kibed in the local language, and nomads place it on the back of the camel whenever they are on the move. If we have a center to display and sell our products, we would be very happy. Mahubba and many other women are presenting their artwork at this two-day exhibition being held at City Hall Mogadishu in a program dubbed Made in Hamar, a local name for Mogadishu, an initiative by the Mogadishu mayor aimed at empowering Somali women. Made in Hamar is a program aimed at promoting women of Benadil region and we hope that everyone will visit their stand here today to promote the products on sale. These city women are not only presenting handmade crafts but are keeping a traditional Somali craft alive. Madina Mude has been known to make mats, baskets and fan from traditional palm leaves that are used to call people, especially during hot seasons. I've been working in this field for more than eight years, and I use the proceeds from my work to feed my family. The idea by the new mayor is one that deserves praise, and we expect from him a center where we can work and display our handmade crafts. The nomadic lifestyle is what defines the Somali culture. With most of the things on display here today, depicting the typical lifestyle of a traditional Somali household. And it's the same culture that locals here want foreign tourists to learn from their visits. It's a display of a beautiful handcrafted traditional artifacts aimed at reviving a culture that stretches back into the ages. This is known as dil in the Somali language and is mostly used by nomads to preserve milk back in the villages. Handmade baskets such as these ones are also environmentally friendly. The mayor tells me that this initiative is one step closer to raising awareness on the need to ban the use of polythene bags in the capital. The objective is to show everyone that these are locally made products and that Mogadishu and Hamar are two words but are just one and the same thing. The handmade mats and baskets are environmentally friendly and we want this to be a message that such products can be used to protect the environment. To achieve this, the government will need to come up with industries for mass production. But for now, burning polythene bags still remains a far-fetched dream. Organizers, however, say promoting locally made products is a step closer to realizing a self-sufficient society. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.